Hey guys, it's Kent and Cuddles back with another review. This time it's of the TI Inspire CX. And this is basically, it's about $150 depending on where you get it. It's either a little bit lower or a little bit higher. But uh, this one, it's the same as the TI Inspire, just it is thinner. And, well, the keys are a little bit different, the color is a little bit different, and the the screen is all color and that all the other stuff is the same with the screen besides it's this is now color and the it is now like a plasticky on the front instead of whatever it was for the uh TI Inspire and uh I'll walk you through a couple of the physical things on it first of all it's got this cap these it's got these four rubble rubber things so it doesn't move around on this side and then the four rubber things on this side also so it doesn't move around when you're using it and also it's got a Texas Instruments logo on the front can't really see it through the camera and also this is the one thing I don't like about this is it's not a QWERTY keyboard it is A through Z alphabetically from left to right and then it's got the same number pad and uh got this does like trigonometric I can't say it functions and it does all your basic stuff and also so we'll just go to the scratch pad first this is the number scratch pad I don't know if you can see it but then here is the graphs and the graphs are also in color and as you can see there's a pointer that you can move around on the screen by moving your hand around on the touchpad and that's it for that and also you can add a calculator, you can add graphs, you can add cheat, or you can add ge geometry, spreadsheets, data and statistics, notes, and if you have a Vernier data quest, if you have the attachments for those, like the temperature ports, etc., you can plug them in. I am not sure where those go because I've never used them before, but you you can just look into it more if you need to and then also you can store your documents in my documents you can go there's all these new doc documents and then you can create new documents for say each class you're doing and also all you got to do is move your hand your hand around a little bit to to make that mouse pointer go you can't do it on the main screen but eh, you don't need to anyway or yeah you can do it on the main screen like this see and so, I haven't really fooled around with this calculator very much, but if you want me to make some more reviews, just put it in the comments below under this video, and I can do whatever you guys want me to. And, so, that kind of sums up this review. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.